Alrighty, this is the woodshed for the weekend of September 18th. We'll fire countdown in five, four, three, two, one. What is up, guys? Welcome to another week of Did God Really Say? This week we're talking about the truth of the word. Can you trust the Bible? Are God's promises really true? We're going to find out about that. Great word from Pastor Chris this weekend. I'm looking forward to it. And looking forward to spending the weekend with you. I'm grateful for you guys, have you guys on the team helping create those experiences where people can connect with God, where they can learn to love God in a new way. Up top, we got the countdown. This is going into I Thank God. I'll throw those chords up on the screen for you. That is going to go to Great Are You Lord. Again, the intro is going to be bigger. That is going to be in the female worship leader key. Going to bring that out. Uh, female worship leader has a little setup that we're going to do into goodness of God. So again, watch what Kayla does. Just kind of take it, make it your own. But we do want to use that scripture for sure. Psalm 20, 23, 6. So that'll go into goodness of God. And then at the end of that, we'll go to the next steps promo. Go to hosting. And host will toss to the bumper. And that will go to the message. We'll take bumper and message via Resi. There'll be a handoff to locations. Uh, at every multi-site, we'll do the gospel. Your campus pastor will come out and do that. And then they will hand off to response time. Response time song this week is Same God. And they'll come back out and do generosity in campus closing at the end. It's going to be... Another incredible weekend. Thank you guys for being ambassadors of God's truth. You guys get to sing truth over people. Grateful to have you on the team. We love you. Looking forward to an incredible weekend with you. Thank you.
breaking free. We step out of that grave. Get up, get up, get up. Get up out of that grave. Get up, get up, get up. Get up out of that grave. Get up, get up, get up. Get up out of that grave. Get up, get up, get up. Get we sing it again. Come on. Get up, get up, get up. Get up out of that grave. Get up, get up, get up. Get up out of that grave. Get up, get up, get up. Get up out of that grave. Get up, get up, get up. We sing it. Come on now. Get up, get up, get up. Get up out of that grave. Get up, get up, get up. Get up out of that grave. Get up, get up, get up. Get up out of that grave. Get up, get up, get up. Get up out of that grave because you picked me up. You turned me around. You placed my feet on solid ground. I think it's master. I think it's savior.
in a worship moment. Yes, yeah, church, I'm so thankful for his greatness. He is so, so good. As we continue in this series talking about truth, his truth, we're talking about his word today. That his word is so reliable. We know that we can follow it. We can count on it in every situation. Psalm 23, 6 says, surely your goodness and your mercy will follow me all the days of my life. I know I've seen that in my own life as I grew up in some pretty hard times and I knew that I could count on him. I knew that he had a plan to prosper me, a plan that was greater than what I could see. And so wherever you are today, if your season is great or if it's a hard season, we know that we can count on him. We can count on his Fire. goodness. We know that he Intro, keeps his promises two, three, always. Four. So let's sing this together of his goodness, his faithfulness today. First, two, three, four. You. someone and thought they were made for this. You were watching an artist paint, an athlete perform amazing feats of skill, or an actor create new worlds and characters before your very eyes. In those moments, their one purpose minute. was undeniable. They seemed to be perfectly designed for just that endeavor. 
Well, the good news is that God promises that we can all find that level of purpose deep in our souls. The book of Ephesians says that we were each uniquely created for good works that God has prepared for us. We all have a gift to share with the world. Let us help you find the blueprint to your design. Next Steps is our process to connect you to your purpose. We'll provide you with dinner, childcare, and practical ways to discover exactly what your gifts are and how you can use them. Sign up for Step 2, happening this week at your campus. 15. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, one, two, one, three, four. What is up, Faith Promise Church? Welcome to your campus this weekend. My name is Justin. I get the honor of serving you as part of our staff team. And what you just saw in that video is absolutely true. We believe you were made on purpose for a purpose, and we want you to discover that purpose so that you can win your world. We're so glad you're with us. If you would, grab that card in the seatbelt pocket in front of you. And if you're new here, if you want to find out more about us, you can fill that out and drop it in the offering buckets, or you can take out your phone and take a picture of that communication card on the screen. And if this is your first time, we're so excited to have you here at church. Give it up for our first time guests. Yeah. Hey, we'd love to meet you at the conclusion of this experience at our guest services table. That is in the lobby straight through those doors. Again, we're so happy that you're here. You just saw that video talking about our next steps process. Around here, we say that next steps is your next step. That is right. And it is our process to help you discover your purpose. Just like the video with Neil said, we believe you were all made with a gift, a gift that is designed to be shared with the world and we want to help you unlock that so show up tonight you can check out the link on the screen we'll have dinner and child care for you that is tonight at six o'clock at your campus hey, something else you've been hearing about if you've been here the last few weeks it is our purpose podcast we've been unpacking some very complex topics about truth about the nature of who god is can you trust that jesus was real and that he was who he says he was this week we're talking about scripture and can you trust it is it reliable all throughout this month, we are dropping some nuggets on our podcast to help us go a little deeper into those complex Stand questions, those to complex resolve topics on a four. that we are talking about. So you're going to want to be sure and check that out. On you can take call. a picture of that QR screen, uh, the QR code that is on the screen. That'll take you to Spotify, or you can search for Popper's Podcast on Apple Podcasts or on our YouTube channel. Again, it's been an incredible month so far as we look deeper and deeper into God's truth. This weekend, we're looking at God's word. Did he really say the things that he said he did? Can you really trust those promises? Let's check this out. Right here on a four, on a four. It was the very first trick the devil ever pulled. Picture paradise. A beautiful garden, free of worries, cares, desires. What could convince someone to forsake this place? It would have to be something truly devious. You'd have to get them not to question the goodness of the garden, but the goodness of its creator. And seconds. then, with a single question, humanity broke forever. This question that still echoes in our hearts today is an attack on one of the most fundamental qualities of God, 15. truth. It's a dangerous question that still destroys Nine, every eight, facet seven, of God's beautiful six, Creation. Five, four, three, two, one. Did God really say those things in his word? We're going to be talking about that this weekend. Pastor Chris is going to be our communicator. He's going to speak for about 27 minutes about the Bible. Is it trustworthy? Is it reliable? And are the promises that, that are contained in it something that we can hold on to? At the conclusion of that talk, we're going to hand it over to location, so we'll cut off Resi. That handoff is happening right Bring in now. So your campus pastors are taking that. They're going to take over that for the gospel. We're going to lead people through the sinner's prayer, which we're doing right now. We're going to pray all together. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Church, give it up for those who just made that incredible decision. It's the best decision that they will ever make in their life. Life. Well, if you just made that decision for the first time, we want to connect with you and help you take your next steps. So if you would, 
text the word SAVED to the number that is coming up on the screen right now. One of our pastors will contact you and help you begin your spiritual journey. Our worship team is making their way back up on stage to lead us. Intro. Hey, these response stations are open. Our prayer teams are going to be down front. So, hey, if you feel the Holy Spirit speaking to you today, don't hesitate to respond to his leading. We have communion cups to celebrate Jesus' sacrifice. And that's how much we love God for sending his son. These crosses are available as a reminder that God came to die for all people. It's people that he loves and that we should love as well. And these candles are a reminder that it's our purpose to be the light of the world and to win the world. So as our team leads, we want you to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit's leading. Let's worship together. Team load in. Churches, we continue and to fire. worship like he said. Intro, two, three, four. Take time. Take time. Let us just remember that he is the same today as he was yesterday. He will never change. First, three, four. I'm calling on the God of Jacob, whose love endures through generations. I know that you will keep your covenant. Calling on the God of Moses, the one who opened up the oceans. I need you now to do the same thing for me. For me, for me. Bring it down. Three, four. Oh God, my God, I need. God, my God, I need you now, how I need you now. Oh, rock, oh, rock of ages, I'm standing on your faithfulness, on your
Big crash, 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 crash. Host on stage. Three, four. Hey, man, what an incredible time of worship. I love hearing those stories, all those great stories out of the Bible. And it's amazing to think that that same God is with us even today. Hey, you know, Faith Promise, we love people. And one of our partners, Angelic Ministries, is making a big impact through their love for people. If we look in the word, Matthew 25 talks about caring for the least of these, meeting their simple needs like clothing, food, shelter. And when we help the marginalized and downtrodden, it's like we're doing it to Christ himself. We're caring for his precious sons and daughters. That's why we love what we're doing through Angelic Ministries. They have a vision to build a place called The Ranch, where they're going to help men who have come out of homelessness, difficult situations, and want to learn more about responsibility and self-sufficiency. The ranch will provide housing for recovering men, as well as training and budgeting, meal planning, general housekeeping. These men will also go through their 12-week advanced navigation of essential trades and skills program. And the ranch will be a place where God raises up godly men. And hey, it's because of your generosity that we're able to give this gift to Angelic Ministries and fund their vision of the ranch. And we're helping these men recover, and you guys are helping us win the world through your generosity. Thank you so much for continuing to be faithful to give. And hey, maybe this is the week you take your first step on your journey to being a generous giver. Even a small gift is an act of obedience. And if you've been giving for a long time, we're so thankful you are truly helping us to win the world through all of our missions partners. So right now, let's pray a blessing that God would multiply these gifts and blessing the givers. Pray, pray, pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen, church. What an incredible weekend that it has been. What an incredible truth series we have had. Hey, before you go, I have one more important thing I'd love to share with you. We talked earlier in the experience about ways you could discover your purpose, and I have a great one for you. We'd love to help connect you to a team that will love you, that will develop you, that will help you grow and help you become all that God has made you to be. It's a place where you can live out those gifts that were placed inside you, and that is our worship team. Give it up for them. So hey, if you're someone who sings, plays an instrument, works production, we'd love to have you on the team. We'd love to help you discover your purpose. We're gonna be in the lobby right at the conclusion of this experience. We'd love to talk to you and help you get connected to our team. Well, for everyone who is here, we love you. We pray you walk in God's truth this week. We'll see you next time. Kick it in. You ready to take it out? Take it out. Three, four. Clothing.